Hi, this is Marcy Morrison. I'm here today to talk about my book, Finding Your Passion, The Easy Guide to Your Dream Career. And I'm so happy today to be here with Azeem Kamisa, who is highlighted in my book. Azeem, you have an incredible story of where something very tragic happened in your life, and you've turned that into something that you're truly passionate about doing and in the process helping millions of people around the world. Can you tell us about that, about what you've been doing with your passion? Yes, the genesis is tragic, as you know. Mm -hmm. My son, 20-year-old uh, San Diego State School, San Diego State University student, uh, worked on weekends as a pizza delivery man. And uh, he was accosted by a group of four youth gang members. Wrong place, wrong time. It was very random, meaningless. And a 14-year-old shot and killed him. Mm -hmm. So needless to say, it brought my life to a crashing halt. Up to that moment in my life, I had made a career as an international investment banker. But this tragedy changed my life mm -hmm. and put me to the work I do today, which is my passion, is what your book talks about. And I took a little different response to it I, than maybe a lot of other people. I, I thought what I saw here, that there were two victims. There were victims on both ends of the gun. I saw my son a victim of the 14-year-old gang member. I saw the 14-year-old gang member as a victim of our society. So I felt as an American I must take my share of the responsibility for the bullet that took my son's life because I am an American. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, should every other caring American. So nine months after I lost him, I started the Tariq Kamisa Foundation, tkf.org is our website. And I reached out after starting the foundation to the grandfather and guardian of my son's killer. And we essentially work together. We go to schools together. In fact, I talk to 1,500 kids today. That's why I'm, you know, entire Kamisa Foundation uh, uh, uniform. And we're introduced. This man's grandson killed this man's son. And here they are together. The foundation has been extremely successful. We started with like $8,000. We have uh, 50 people now. And our annual budget is about $2 million. In 13 years, we've reached 8 million kids, and we are successfully keeping kids away from gangs, guns, and violence. That's fantastic. And Azeem um, not only helps people through TKF, but you also have an incredible way and tools that you're helping people through. Your website, AzeemKamisa.com, where you have just published a book with Random House, and you also have tools to help people uh, walk through the process of forgiveness through a two other books and a, and a CD series. Can you talk briefly about that? Yes, yeah, I, I do a lot of work in helping teach people how to achieve peace through the practice of forgiveness. Right. And this means I speak a lot, I do workshops on forgiveness. I've written, as you mentioned, and authored three books. The, rate, the latest one just came out with Random House. And my goal here is to create some healing and peace in our world. My first two books are from Murder to Forgiveness. The second was, was from Forgiveness to Fulfillment, as I'm really fulfilled with the work I'm doing today. And the last one is The Secrets of the Bulletproof Spirit, How to Bounce Back from Life's Hardest Hits. And this essentially chronicles my journey. The work I do today is primarily as a result of this tragedy, but again, it is, I find that I've really found the passion which is kind of what your book talks about. Absolutely, and the timing of your book and my book right now, we were just talking about how perfect this timing is yes. because a lot of people are really struggling in a, in a difficult time right now. So we're, we're here to provide them with the tools and the inspiration to get through these times. And you know, there's one great thing you talk in the book, I don't want to give away your whole story, but you, know, you talked about a way that people can check in to see if they've really found their passion. Can you, can you share that? Yes, uh, and I think that the difference between people that have been able to find their passions and the ones that have not been is essentially information and inspiration. Right. And, and I think your book does very well at this, both areas. And, and, and I think that uh, what you find, at least what I found in my journey, that what lies within you is far more greater than what lies ahead of you or behind you. So what I teach in the book is that when you are facing a, a big decision, or if you're looking for that passion uh, of your dream, dream career, then you have to go beyond your head and your heart. 99% of the time we live in our heads or in our heart. Right. But in life you get problems your heads will not solve or your hearts will not heal, then where are you? 
So I really believe it's important to have a very strong spiritual foundation, which has helped me get through my biggest crisis. It wasn't my degree in math and finance. Mm -hmm. So now I teach people that before you make a decision, you know, talk to your head. There's nothing wrong with having a good intelligent mind, but it's an instrument of logic. So you ask them, does it make sense? But that's where it ends. And nothing wrong with a feeling heart. That's where emotions reside. So you can go to your heart and say, does that feel good? But don't stop there either. <laughs> go to your soul and say, is this inspirational? And that's the important piece. And that's where the real resolutions are. And if it does make sense, if it does feel good, and it is inspirational, it will be in line with your passion. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Azeem. Make sure you check out Azeem's website, azeemkamisa.com, for more information on him. And the book, again, is Finding Your Passion, The Easy Guide to Your Career Success. Thank you, Azeem. You're welcome.